Okay, so here we go. Uh, we are off and running for another exciting week. <laughs> I guess this will be week three. Yeah, but we're not gonna we're not gonna keep it dated like that. You know, we're just whatever. We're in our season now. So we go back and now we start visiting all the yards uh, for at least a second time. Some of them will be a third. Some of them will be even a fourth. Uh, but all the yards will be a second time um, cut. So they're not going to be as nasty as they were a few weeks ago. Now, we did get a lot of rain this weekend. Uh, Friday, I believe it was. Saturday, we didn't get much at all if we got any. Um, I don't think we got, I don't think we got any. But if we did, it wasn't much. So we got... We got some wet grounds, but I don't think it's going to be bad. Uh, I got 10 on the schedule, but then I got 11. I got a request to get done, another request to get done, um, to get put into the mix. So that's 12. Um, I don't know if I'll get all 12 done. I have to, uh, I have to change over the water from, uh, the water was in my wife's name. And she's probably going to turn that off today or tomorrow. Um, so I don't know if she is or not. I'm not giving her the option of, or you know, I'm not asking. Let me put it to you that way. I'm just getting it switched over. Um, and the internet, they won't switch the internet over until she turns it off. So we might go a few days without internet. So I'll have to go to like the local, um, like I'll have to go to Fuddruckers or something where they have Wi-Fi so I can throw my videos up and do my paperwork. <laughs> um, you know, do my, my online invoicing and stuff like that while I wait for, um, my internet to get put back on because uh, they're not going to be able to just do it like that. It's probably going to take a couple days. Um, could even take a week. I don't know. So we'll just have to see. Uh, but that's it. I mean, the electrics in uh, it, the electrics already in my name. The satellite TV's in my name. Um, somebody asked me how I get to keep the house. I don't get to keep shit. It's a rental, so it's not our house. My house is rented out, and we're in a lease, and there's. You know with this economy right now to market the house is owed more than it's worth anyway so there's no there's no financial gain to that other house so that other house and that was my house before we got married anyways but um, there is no nothing there you know with that house this house is just a rental um, why I stayed and she left uh, part of the reason why we we were having issues was she felt we lived too far away from her family um, it was too hard for her family to come out here, even though her mom works five minutes from the house. Um, just out here where it's kind of more country, um, I mean, this is like the border of, of it. Now she's living back where there's gunshots every night, and, I mean, she's just in the middle of the shit. So that's where she wants to live. She wants to live with her mom and her dad right nearby. She's actually living in her mommy's house, so whatever. I mean, I'm not going to whatever one day she'll grow up maybe when she's 50 she'll be on her own um, don't know what to tell you so the electrics in my name and um, let me see the uh, TVs in my name I don't know if I'm gonna keep the TV though the direct TV I just don't think we need it in this day and age with the internet you know getting all the information I mean I had it because, you know, my wife watched a lot of her shows, you know, and she would record a lot of her shows and she'd sit on the couch for a lot of the days and watch her shows. Um, and, you know, she she liked that. So, you know, we were paying 80 bucks a month for that. So I dropped it down to the lesser package to like 60 bucks a month or 60 something bucks a month. Um, but for 60 something bucks a month, I might watch it a couple hours, like maybe one hour in the morning. I watch, um, like Fox News or something at one hour, one hour in the morning, and um, and then at night maybe settling down, watch some of them crime shows I like to watch. You know, um, there's you know the first 48 things like that. So maybe for an hour or two at night while I fall asleep, and then the TV's on while I'm sleeping, um, which is a bad habit. I actually like Pitch Black and Dead Silence, so I'll probably just be going right back to that. And, you know, before you know it, I'm going to realize I'm probably only watching like two hours of television a day at the most. And most of the time I'm on my computer, I'm on the internet, um, I'm on YouTube doing videos, I'm doing paperwork, um, or I'm working, 
you know, or I'm going to be making dinner or something, you know, so I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. I think that might be a waste of 60 or 70 bucks. Ooh, that is bright. Sorry, guys. Sun's right in my face. Hopefully, that's not too bad on the camera. Um, so, yeah, last night, uh, read a lot of y'all's comments, um, if not all of them, on my video I put up yesterday about us separating, and I really, really, really appreciate uh, all y'all's support. Uh, on both sides for me and my wife um, so that was good so far I didn't see anything disparaging so that's that's good there's just no need for that um, I did talk to the kids last night and um, well I talked to one of them the younger one was pissed off because he had to do his homework so he gets in a mood and then he, you know um, and my son has a cell phone my eight-year-old so I'm gonna go ahead and put time on his phone uh, I'll just pay the forty dollars a month so he can have uh, prepay, unlimited talk, unlimited text. So he can call and text me anytime he wants um, when he's out of school. And you know, that will be a huge help for all of us. And um, you know, that's $40 a month, but. Okay, let's get back to business. Today we got, like I said, we got 10 on the schedule and we got 12 total if I can get to the two requests. We'll just have to see. I also have uh, two carried over from last week. And I don't know if I'm going to get to those. That's my neighbor and their neighbor. They were coming due this Thursday regularly. The way the calendar worked out from last year, they should have been due this Thursday coming. They should have been due two Thursdays ago or 10 days ago. But I did them prior to that. So I didn't remove them off the schedule, but I might just let them go to this coming Thursday or maybe try to squeeze them in Wednesday I mean here it is Monday it's not I mean they're not in the best of shape but uh, I don't know I'll have to see one of them doesn't even live there so they don't care it's an empty house for rent and the other one is my direct neighbor and I'll, I'll have to ask her if she minds um, now she helped my wife move out yesterday and and you know how women are so she's probably thinking about getting a different lawn guy now because you know I'm, I'm probably scum and all that crap so whatever uh, I don't really care I have my opinions too you know uh, so we'll just have to see how that works out um, if I lose that account it's not that big of a deal because it's not worth the, the 30 bucks I charge her to be honest with you with the hedges and the backyard gate and the edging in the backyard and all that crap that should, should be a 40 or 50 dollar yard to be honest but you know it's a neighbor so I, I try to take care of her um, but I wouldn't be too heartbroken if I lost that yard, believe me. Um, Alright, so, that's what we got going on today. So we're going to try to do some video as well. And uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly where we're going to video, but we're going to try to do some video. And see if I can get you guys some, uh, some more clips and some music videos and stuff like that. Um, believe it or not, I'm going to have a lot more time now to do things. So, you know, when I get home from work, it's just me. So, really, I just have to let my dogs out, and then it's just me. So, we shall see. Well, when I first got this, this is my third cut here, right? When I first got this account, it was a mess. Uh, I remember a lady said that she wanted to, she wanted to be able to sit in her backyard and drink her tea. I remember that. I said, well, lady, I will make it where you can drink your tea. So, I cut this whole thing with the 20-inch. And this backyard was a disaster. It's filling in nice now. It's not the highest quality of lawn. But, you know, you can come back here now and, and hang out, you know, and drink your tea. So, this gate's a little lopped up, but this is... There we go. There. There shut front yard it's filling in nice but her husband used to used to drink coffee or uh, used to mow the lawn drink coffee I'm thinking about my coffee I'm sugar crashing right now because I didn't eat right this weekend I mean I'm like really sugar crashing I'm starting to see like the black on the outside but um I got coffee and sugar in my truck so um oh man there we go. Sorry about my hand in your face. Um, her husband used to do the front, and uh, they used to kind of neglect the back, you know. I think I said it a few weeks ago. It was like a mullet. It was 
nice in the front and party in the back. So I got her squared away. I charge her 40 bucks for that yard. It's a fair price. I 20 inch the whole thing. Um, I could use uh, I could use my zero turn in the front, but I'm gonna have the 20 inch out anyways. So I just do it. Um, and the great thing about this yard is it's halfway between my house and the senior citizens that I do that's far away. So instead of fighting traffic all the way to the senior citizens that I like to do and I get a nice chunk of change and I get a check that day um, I can stop here and traffic has th thinned out it took me about almost 35 minutes to do that yard start to finish weed eater blower and 20 inch mower and I cut edge and weed eat no hedges nothing so I mean that's a quick you know quick few dollars get it done I do this yard and then I go on to do this lady's mother's yard, uh, which again is a quick 40 bucks, unless I only do the front yard. If she's got the back gate closed, then she doesn't want me to do it. Um, and they do it themselves. They have a mower on the back porch and they'll just mow it down. And then once every couple of months, she'll ask me to weed eat if that's the case. And uh, I'll trade that for 10 bucks. I'll weed eat the backyard because it'll be a mess by then. But if not, no big deal. Uh, so we're going to head over to the senior citizens, but I need to make a phone call to the water company. So I'll update you guys and let you know what they say. So we got two down, we got 10 to go, eight on the schedule for sure. I need to make a note um, for Passover power wash, the house and the driveway. Um, that's like the 18th or something like that of April. Um, they need that done. They did tell me about that before as well. Um, I think I mentioned it to you guys. Uh, so, but this was a quick trim. I trimmed the backyard, just some 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 of the plants in the back. And uh, in and out, 9.29, so it's 9.30. We got 10 to go if I do the two alternates that I have. Um, not alternates, but the two additions, I should say. And they did pay, so that's good. Got that check. Um, and I talked to my ex wife and I talked to the water company, and the water company needs a, a lease, a new lease. So I was like, well, can, can my wife just go in there and swap the name over? They're like, no. I was like, uh, you know, we need something that shows that you're on it. And I was like, uh, okay. Uh, I'm on the lease that set up service in the first place two years ago, but see that lease expired. So they want to see an updated lease, you know, or a new lease. But the fact I like, well, I can bring you a lease, but it's, it's outdated, you know, and we're just kind of month to month with the guy. And, uh, they're like, no, you need a new one. So I called my, my wife and I was like, Hey, um, you know, how soon are we gonna transfer the water over because they're gonna make me jump through hoops. I gotta get a hold of the landlord who's not around. And they were they were like, you know, or she said, you know, no rush. I was like, okay, cool. So, like, I don't wanna be nasty. I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't think you would wanna be nasty because, you know, things won't go very well. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. So we'll keep the water in my name. So that takes a little bit of pressure off of me. I mean, not really. I mean, it's just, I can I can make a lease and go to the office and get it turned on. It's just when, when am I gonna do that? I got 10, 12, 15 yards to do every day. And I gotta go in person. It's like, come on, man. I said to the people, I'm like, you want me to come to your office in the middle of the, how am I supposed to do that? I have a job, you know, I work. I don't have time to do that crap, but whatever. I'll hire an assistant to run around and do my chores for me. I have a couple people in mind. So, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I went to the grocery store yesterday trying to find a roast. I was going to cook a roast in the slow cooker today, so when I got home, I'd have dinner ready. I couldn't find crap at Kroger for a roast. They were like sold out. So I don't know, man. I'm going to have to figure something out. But I'll be back. Uh, okay, I just got a. Uh, call in request uh, realtors coming to show the house in about an hour and a half and so the homeowner just called me and said please 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 is there any way you can come and 
clean the yard up. So I just did it 10 days ago, and they're really super cool customers. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna actually be right by you guys. I'm on my way to your neighborhood to do work. Um, so I'll come and squeeze you in. So it's, I mean, it's, it's a good $50 yard. So yeah, you know, so let's do it. It's uh, 10 minutes to 10. Uh, I've been driving for about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, it's 9.52. So I've been driving for about 20 minutes um, from one side of town to the other. I hate that. Uh, I almost could have a yard done by now, but that's my senior citizen couple, man. I'm not letting them go. Uh, I like them, so. But I knocked, I knocked them two out down there on the east side, so now I'm out here in the northwest. I'm at my furthest location. And um, you guys remember that tennis court I uh, power washed, I did the surface cleaning on? Now the HOA contacted me and wants me to pine straw the whole place. And I said, oh snap. Uh, the first thing I thought of was I might need some help on that one. So I think I'm gonna reach out to a buddy of mine in the next couple of days and see if he wants to go in with me on it. Um, and just split it straight up and see if the two of us can knock it out me him and maybe one of his helpers maybe one of my helpers I mean, it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a trailer load of uh, of straw it ain't gonna be 20 bales it's gonna be probably closer to 200 bales I don't know I gotta I gotta look to see what exactly he's talking about he's talking about the whole pool area all the beds around the pool um, the center coming out I mean he's talking a lot a lot a lot and they want it done, so they want it done like now. So I need to take a look at that. Um, <laughs> call out to my buddy. That'd be a huge job. Holy crap. That'd be a big job. Um, that'd be nice. I'd like that. Uh, so I'm pulling into this house now. So we'll go ahead and get this one knocked out. And then uh, I'll be back with a little lesson of the day. Okay, so $50 making you holla. 10:43, about 45 minutes to do the job. Got a little bit stuck there because uh, nobody was answering the door, and the two big, huge dogs were in the backyard. And I don't mess with those dogs. Uh, this phone call I don't answer because I don't want to. Um, not a customer, private matter. Um, so I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. If if you're dating somebody, dating, I'm not talking about me and my wife, I'm talking about dating. If two people are dating and that person comes around to parties and that person comes around, you know, and hangs out with the family and does things with the family, maybe even maybe even one on one with, with other members of the family, you know, like go fishing with that person or whatever. When you break up, when when the two people break up and that person who was on the outside and then was dating and then broke up do you continue with that person do you continue um, have a relationship with that person um, where like you know you do things with or you do favors for or do you say okay well since you and the other person and the family are no longer in that situation that you were in and you know eventually the other person is going to probably maybe date someone else in the future do you continue having a relationship with the person who's now on the outside i say no i say you know hey um you know it was great while it lasted but um you know you're out that's it it's not like you don't deserve to hang out with me or dessert it's you're out you had a chance to be a part of something and for whatever reason that chance is over so you're no longer a part of something and that something would include me right makes sense to me that makes sense uh so i don't know it's like it's like, okay, I'm, I'm divorcing my wife, right? You think I'm gonna be calling her father and saying, hey, let's go hang out? Or, you know, you think you think he should call me and say, hey, uh, 
can you help me fix my weed eater? I'd be like, what are you freaking kidding me? Get lost, beat it. Because I'm gonna have a new life and my kids are going to be a part of my new life in the, in the capacity that we can. And I'm not gonna be bringing my new life, which is going to be a new friend, to parties where my ex and my ex's family is. That to me is ridiculous. I just don't get that at all. I, no way would that ever happen. No freaking way. A funeral? Sure, because that's a one-time deal. But like Christmas and birthday? No, 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 no. You guys would go do your thing and then I will do my thing. I don't care if it's on the day, okay? I don't care if if like I celebrate Christmas with my boys Christmas Day. I don't really care. It could be three days later, two days before, the night of, the afternoon later. I, you know, it doesn't matter. I don't care when it happens, but it'll happen and it'll be our Christmas. It'll be our celebration of the time. But I'm not gonna be bringing my friend over to that mess, you know? So the phone call that I just got is somebody who is on the other side, somebody else that is now like this with the family and wants me to do a favor. And I'm like, okay, for one, I'm no longer a part of the family. I'm a part of my boy's family. I'm no longer a part of that family. That family means nothing to me. Hasn't meant anything to me for a long time, actually, because I've been bearing the weight myself of everything going on in my home. So, you know, I don't, believe me, there's no love loss there. I, I'm fine with, with that whole family situation because not a single person lifted a finger since November to help me, since her seizure started. Not a single, per ever, ever. Did anybody help me? So, splitting on that scene, I'm fine with that. Don't ever call me for shit, you know? But, somebody on that side who was dating in that side of the family, dating in from the outside, um, is trying to get me to like continue doing favors and stuff for her. And I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? Beat it. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I mean, it just makes absolutely zero sense. But anyways, here I have one, two, three. So we're gonna knock this out, it's 1048. So we're gonna knock these three out. This is $100, a 40, a quick 30, and a quick 30. Uh, so we're gonna knock this 100 out, and I got a new one around the corner. So that guy did pay me the 260 that he owed me. He did pay me, I talked to him this weekend. I said, I'm gonna get you on for Monday when I'm in that neighborhood, so I'm here in this neighborhood. So now I'm in this neighborhood, 140 bucks. Okay, so we'll get this one done, um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we get this four done. We got six more to go. Um, wait, no, I'm sorry. We get this four done. We got five more to go. We got one, two, three, four, which the fourth one there could be pushed tomorrow, actually. Five. So we got five to go. One, two, three, four, five to go. Once we get through these four, this 140 bucks, then we'll have five more. Um, so that's five, and then we did, so four, five, nine, and we did three, so it's 12 long day. And I got, um, I got one house wash I need to call and try to schedule. She said to check with her in April, so I got that coming up. So we got four to do here. We got three right now, and then we got one around the corner. The one around the corner, we'll do some video. So, so stand by. We'll be back for that. All right, three done. Right then, a little over an hour. It's 12.25, so I don't know. When, when did I shut that off? Like 12, 11 something, or 10 something? 11 something? I don't remember. Anyways, it's 12.25. We're moving along. Just going to make a quick U-turn here. I could have backed in the driveway, but it's all right. Quick little turnaround here, and uh, I'll show you guys those three houses as we drive by. And then we got this one house to do, which has not been done yet this year. And I honestly don't remember when it's been done last. And it does get very wet. And so I got to be careful because these yards were still a little bit wet from the weekend. Um, but it's an easy yard. Um, it's not that big of a deal once it's cleaned up. 
But I mean, we're moving right along now because all the yards that I just did, um, six yards done, that they were done last time too. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit at ease right now. Once I get this one done, um, the rest of the day is up to me to choose what I want to do. Um, you know, all right, here we go. So we just did this one. This one was cut at two and three quarters. Skip this one, not this one. But then we did this one and we did the house wash here on video a couple weeks ago, but my camera fogged up. And then we did this one. Look at that, huh? Beautiful. Beautiful. So there we go. Those are the three that we just did. And now we'll come around the corner here, knock out a $40 yard. That's probably going to be so bad. I'm going to wish it was 80 right now, but hey, whatever, man. We'll get through it. This zero turn is freaking rocking. Um, I am not cross blading. If, if I remember, I'll show you underneath my deck. I am not cross blading. Um, I did it that one time on video and it was cool, but it's not something I want to get overly into. Oh, this one isn't too, too bad. Let's see how this works out. So, hey, this one ain't too bad. All right, man, let's do some, uh, let's do some video work. Crossbladed. All right, let's melt.
Okay, let's go for a quick tour of what we're looking at here. Besides some trash I need to pick up before I blow off. Oh, okay. So, property line's about right here. Right? Look at up this fence. Look at this. So we got it mowed. I got it edged. I didn't edge it on cam, but now I'm going to have to come along with the weed eater. Look how thick this crap is. I mean, look at this thing. What the hell? <laughs> That's coming from the other side. I think I'm going to have to... Wait, does this have thorns? Hang on. Let me see. Let me try it. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, 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 yes. Success. All right. So that's out. So that's good. <laughs> There's some thick shit here. This is usually flooded. Uh, my 32 inch would never have been able to mow back here. I would have sunk uh, pretty bad. There's actually a uh, drain right here. So I have to avoid this little area because you go in there, you're not going to come back out with a zero turn. Uh, but this is pretty wet. Look at the thickness of this. Look at this. So my weed eating is definitely cut out for me. Uh, but what I'll do, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you guys some weed eating. Sounds good? So what I'll do is I'll set the camera up at different angles and we'll just do some weed eating. So when we're done, we'll, uh, we'll be at around 280 for the day already. And we'll be close to one or one o'clock. But let's see what we got. That's my mic drop. Look at that, huh? Beautiful. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Remember this Technique Tuesday tip from last year? Weed eat down, edge it back. Weed eat down. You don't sit there and go up and down. You don't waste your weed eater line. You don't hurt the fence. I'll show you again. Watch.
Now what I do is I'll come back with my mower and I'll make a pass along the fence line and just chop up all the clippings from the weed eater. So this is a lot of reasons why people weed eat first so they don't have to uh, worry about the clippings. But when you weed eat first, then I tend to weed eat too much. So I'd rather just go back, run the mower one more time over it all and just be done. So let's set the camera up over here and I'll show you guys one more time, okay? Just one more time. And you're on your own. This line goes through it like butter. Plus a lot of what I do is I prep it now so I can come right along with the mower and chop it all up. So that's why sometimes at the end I'll come down, go back, come down, go back. I'm pulling the shit away from the fence so I have room for weedy or uh, mow, I mean. So let's go ahead and uh, finish up back here. So we'll call that excellence in trimming. So I cut it at three. I'm gonna set my uh, height now to three and a half because I'm not trying to mow the lawn, but we're gonna do a pass now and just clean up the clippings from the weed eater.
Not bad. See, that's pretty quick. So it's like 110. So let's blow off and we're out of here. Alrighty. All done. So that was a mess. So I can understand the gentleman's concern. He probably had gotten some HOA letters because they are crazy around here. Uh, they are crazy in this area. So uh, let's go grab some lunch. What do you say, huh? Let's eat. Okay, let's uh, let's elaborate a little bit more on the whole, you know, separation. You know, once the family, you know, once you're out, you're out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. So. If you think, oh yeah, but you know, it's nice if you can get together. Do you really think that, really? Think about this. How happy are you to know that your current spouse or your current uh, interest, your love interest, is friends on Facebook with their ex or their exes and that their ex comments uh, and your current comments on their posts? How, how good does that make you feel? So good that you never look to see what it is? So good you never look? Of course you do. Very few people wouldn't. Uh, because the society we live in, I mean, come on. Even if you trust your spouse, you can say, oh, I trust my spouse, I trust my spouse, I trust my girlfriend, I trust my boyfriend, that's fine. What about the other douchebag? The one that's out? Is he trying to get in? Is he still trying to get in? What's the separation there? You're only hearing one side of the story when it comes to the breakup, right? So what did happen? I don't know, you know, you don't know. So that's the way I look at it. When you're out, you're out. Be out, be gone, okay? There's kids for me and my spouse, right? So my, my soon-to-be ex and I will communicate for the next 12 years while my six-year-old reaches the age of 18. We will communicate. Um, if she has the primary custody of the kids, she will make the major decisions. But something big and huge will come through me, of course, you know, with, with my discussion. Um, that, of course, will be a part of the divorce. But, you know, as far as, um, you know, she's not gonna call me every day. I'm not gonna go over there and be fixing her light bulbs and stuff while she's dating another guy or anything like No. You're out. You're out. You're out. Period. So, you know, that's just the way I think of it. That's that's how I look at it. So, um, I don't know. You can call me weird. You can call me stupid. But I just think once you're out, you're out, man. You go get yourself a new life. And if there's no kids involved or if the kids are over 18, why are you even messing around there anyways? Unless you have an ulterior motive. And if you don't have an ulterior motive... And what are you doing? You're just making it worse on yourself. To what? Be the bigger person? The bigger person deserves your own happiness. So go find your own happiness. And the person that you start to become, you know, date, that person deserves the respect uh, that you are with that person. And you're not sniffing around, you know, someone else or your ex or, you know, whatever. That's, and I don't want people, you know, from, her family calling me asking me for favors? Are you freaking kidding me? Hell no. When we split up, right? When, when we split up, she took me from them. I took me from them. We decided that it was over. It's over. Regardless of the reason. Whether it's abuse, whether it's cheating, whether it's drugs, whether it's whatever. Regardless of the reason, the reason you split, you split. And when you split, you split everything. Everything is gone. You took it all. She takes hers, I take mine. I you know, my mom's not gonna call her and ask her how her day's going. No, she's the ex, it doesn't matter. And she's not, you know, gonna call my mom. She should be calling her next interest's mom. And in the meantime, she should be taking care of herself and her kids, right? I mean, that's the way I look at it. So maybe it's weird, but I just think you keep it all separated. And, you know, I think it only makes problems. And that's another reason why I think Facebook is such, such a destruction to family. Um, you know, you got people... Facebook's a whole other topic. I'm here. Let's eat. I'm going to grab something to eat. All right. So lunch today is a cheese hot dog 
with some ketchup and mustard and some cheese. And I was going to do a tribute to Greg and get some muscle chips, but we're going to go with original Fritos and uh, a super big soda. So this ought to help with my sugar, because um, like I said, I did not eat right this weekend. Uh, I could feel it. I have a weird feeling in my stomach, like of emptiness. <laughs> um, like in a weird way, like it's full of fluid, but it's like I need food. So... Uh, I don't eat on camera, so I'm going to go on down to the next yard. We got a 50 and we got a 40. Um, that one. Right, and then we got, yeah, we got a 50, a 40. We got two right by me. And we got one a little bit. Okay, he's done. All right, we got like four. We got six that I can do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six that I can do. Hmm. I might do five and push one off from today to tomorrow when I'm in that neighborhood doing 11. Doing 10. And I'll just do the whole day in that neighborhood. That's what I'll do. So we're going to go do four more. And that'll give me a little bit more time to eat. And it's heading down toward the other one. So let's go do it. We got one, then one, and then two together. Actually, I'm missing one. Yeah, I'm missing one. I need to make sure she got skipped off of today's schedule. Uh, I need to fix that. So we're going to do one, two, and a half. Okay, I'll explain that one. Two and a half, and that, and that, well, we're going to do one. And then we're going to go do one, and then we're going to do two and a half, and then, depending on the time of day, we'll either do the, the two neighbors right by me, or not. But I already spoke to the one that lives next door to me, and uh, she's fine with waiting um, if we have to wait. So, that's what that's what we'll figure out. Alright, guys. Woo, that was confusing. Sorry. So, another one done. We did not do the backyard. Um, the gate was shut, and she had plants in front of it. Potted plants to keep the gate shut, so... Not touching it. So she gets charged 30 to just do that front yard. No hedges, nothing like that. Just cut edge, trim, blow, go. Get out of Dodge. So we got that scored away. Um, so here's what that does to us financially. 320, right? So far. It's 213. So we've been at it about six and a half hours since we got to the first yard. Um, so now we're going to go for a ride and go do um, an easy peasy lemon squeezy $40 yard. We're going to get this one knocked out. This is another one that I normally would not do, and it's way out of my area, but it's paying off because her father owns lots of properties, and so staying in the good graces with her is keeping me in the good graces with him, and I've been getting pressure wash jobs and lawns off of him, so we're going to go keep her happy, and she pays me 40 bucks. Um, it's not like a $30 yard, it's a $40 yard. So we're going to go do that one. Uh, so that will put us at 350, right? My goal is 400. So that will put us at 350, and that'll put us around with travel around 330, and then we could go on to do either my two neighbors right next door for 60 bucks, which will put us at 410, or we can do a 40 and a 30 that are right next door to each other, and a 20, which is just a little opening area, a little. It's like a half a yard it's like it's the opening entrance way I just you know it's a, a resident just gives me 20 bucks and says here just mow it so because uh, they want it to look nice so that's uh, 50 that's 90 so that would be 440 so we could go for 440 or we could go for 410 either way I'm gonna be done about the same time um, close to 5 o'clock so, close to 5 o'clock. Wow, that lady's crazy. But anyway, I don't know if you guys were able to see that car just pass me. But anyways, um, I mean, I'm doing 50. And the speed limit's 40 or 45. So, anyways, um, 
we're looking at going plus 400 today by doing the next two yards which is actually one yard and then multiple yards but dropping the gate two more times we're going to go over 400 and we're going to be done by five so we're looking pretty good we're going to start a new video series we'll call it uh, EIT the excellence in trimming I was thinking about that we'll do the excellence in trimming and we'll do like videos of weed eating how I do different weed eating I mean if I smoked cigarettes I could be one hand weed eating and smoking but I quit that a long time ago uh, but I mean like reaching all the, all the little the, the neat little tips and tricks that I do that makes it where I can weed eat like this from weed eating to edging the weed eating the grinding weeds to edging the weed eating setting everything up for the mower all the way that I do that so we'll, we'll do that whenever I have an opportunity to cut to it I'll cut to it and so what I'll do is I'll just put like EIT in parentheses and you guys will know that that's that means that there's gonna be um, like in the title I'll just put EIT in brackets and you'll know that that's excellence in trimming I'm gonna you know brag a little bit and show you guys some things that I do with the weed eater that you know you don't normally see most people do um, weed eating isn't isn't enjoyed as much as I enjoy it so I go I go pretty much off on weed eating and um, so whenever I can show off or you know um, there's something special like that last yard there how I did the fence line on you know and showed you guys how I how I clean up a fence without wearing down my weeder line without grinding all over the wood fence without doing all that crazy crap uh, you know you go down you come back you go down you're done it's over it's all over and it's beautiful and you didn't mark up the fence nothing so uh, that's excellence in trimming guys so we're gonna run down here we're going to go do this yard and uh, stay in the good graces of this lady along with the good graces of her father because his pressure wash jobs this winter is going to help keep food on the table keep the lights on right okay I made up my mind I'm gonna let my dogs out uh, so I'm gonna let Ro I got Rocky and I got Manny I got the big pit bull that I'm gonna hang on to for a little while um, so because I just don't see even how it's possible my wife and kids and mother-in-law and our those pets not our pets but her pets and my mother-in-law's I don't see how they're all living together in that house but whatever um, <laughs> whatever that's their problem that's what I told her too I'm like man I tell you what once you leave here hey, all these pets whoever you know is on the outside looking in thinking I'm such a horrible person they're gonna be starting to live it themselves now so they're gonna see it whatever um, so what I'm gonna do is my yard my and my two neighbors yards so I'll knock them three out so that puts us over 400 plus my yard so that will and it's 346 so we'll be done around five that'll put us at 400 a little over 400 my yard will get done my dogs will get walked um, you know my backyard so they can potty and uh, we'll go ahead and get this video up and um, we did good we made gold and I'm happy so uh, I don't know if I'll be back though I might just start uploading this these clips and so that's going on while I'm mowing um, I'm not sure yet but if not hey it's it's day one of week three with the divorce on the horizon um, living the bachelor's life now getting through my day and you know I'm here with you guys and you guys are here with me so let's just have some fun let's make some money and um, let's see what we could we could do with uh, with this business all right so I'll see you guys in the mañana and I got to answer a lot of your comments tonight too all right guys uh, bye